Louis Paul. Can you tell me your name, ma'am? Honesty Lopez. Ms. Lopez, you're here in case 2021 mm 6601 ao on charge of battery domestic violence. They reviewed the charging affidavit in your case. It did find probable cause for your arrest. Is there a victim here? Nobody's looking around. No, you are. Okay. And is there, yeah, she, okay. All right, Ms. Lopez is going to set your bond in this case amount of $250. It's going to come with pre-trial release supervision. You're going to have no contact with the victim in this case. You're going to maintain a separate residence from this victim. I'll give you a one-time return with law enforcement to retrieve any personal items you have at a shared residence. You may not possess any weapons or firearms. Any weapons or firearms you have need to be turned over to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. You also may not possess any drugs or alcohol without a valid prescription. You be subject to random drug and alcohol testing at your expense while you're out on release in this case. I'm going to appoint the public defender to represent you in this case. Do you have any questions about the stipulations on your no contact order? No, no questions. Right. Um, if we do live together, uh, so. Yep, we can't do that right now. So you have one, you have a one time return with law enforcement to get your stuff, which you can not, you can maintain a separate residence. You have to abide by all the stipulations and a no contact order. Okay. Do not violate my orders, okay? Good morning, ma'am. Can you tell me your name? Beverly Timothy. Well, you're here in case 2021 MM 6582AO on a charge of battery dating violence. They reviewed the charging affidavit in this case. They did find probable cause for your arrest. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name and spell your last name? My name is Ernest Ahiable, A H I A B L E. All right. Can you raise your right hand to be sworn in? You saw me swear affirm the testimony you're going to give in this matter is the truth, the whole truth, and number of the truth. So help me God. So help me God, sir. All right, put your hand down. Can you tell me how you know Miss Timothy? Timothy is my girlfriend. And do you want to have contact with her while this case is pending? Yes, yes, sir. Has there been previous instances of domestic violence between you all in the past? Negative, sir. Did drugs or alcohol play a role in this incident? Negative, sir. Say, you have any questions for the witness? No, Your Honor. And Ms. George? No, Your Honor. That news or... So I have a phone or something next to one of the mics. I got so much feedback this morning. All right. Ms. Timothy, I want to set your bond in this case. Is she, will she qualify? Ms. Davis. She refused to talk with us. All right. All right, I'm going to set your bond in this case amount of $750. It's going to come with one of the two orders you have. No hostile contact with the victim in this case. No hostile contact means this. You're allowed to have disagreements with your boyfriend. You're allowed to be upset with him if you left the toilet seat up, made a mess he didn't want to clean up, or anything else that causes conflict in a relationship. However, those disagreements cannot turn violent. They cannot become threatening. There can be no abusive language used. Because no matter whether he calls law enforcement or somebody that sees or hears you all arguing calls law enforcement, you will be arrested. You're spending your remaining time here with me at the Orange County Jail for violating my orders. You understand that? Yes, sir. You also may not possess any weapons or firearms. The weapons or firearms you have need to be turned to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. I want to appoint the public defender to represent you in this matter. You have a great day, ma'am.
One second, tell me your name. Jose Rodriguez. He was marked off of the move-up list. Yes. Okay. Mr. Andrew. There we go. All right. Good morning, Mr. Rodriguez. You're here in case 2021 mm 6586 AO on charge of battery domestic violence. They reviewed the charging affidavit in your case, did find probable cause for your arrest. We're going to set your bond in this case in amount of $1,500. Condition of your bond that you have no contact with the victim in this case. You maintain a separate residence from this victim. Give you a one-time return with law enforcement to retrieve any personal items you have at that location. You may not possess any weapons or firearms. The weapons or firearms you have need to be turned over to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. And I'm going to appoint the public defender to represent you in this case. You're on probation in Osceola County case 2021 CF 1026 AO. The court's going to find an on view violation of your probation based on your arrest in this case. Going to set your bond in that case at no bond. Going to give appoint the public defender to represent you in that case as well. You have a great day, sir. Good morning, Your Honor. This is Theodore Leal, Spanish interpreter. The interpreter has been previously sworn, Your Honor. Warm well, Mr. Interpreter, this is Judge Van Conn from the BRC. If you could see if you can make a connection with the podium. Please see. The interpreter is connected to the podium, Your Honor. All right. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Marco Antônio Mendonça dos Santos. É, repetir? É Marco, Marco Antônio Mendonça dos Santos. Marco Antônio Mendonça dos Santos. I need uh, Smith as well, please. Mr. Dos Santos. You are here in case 2021 MM 6581AO on charge of battery domestic violence. They reviewed the charging affidavit in your case, they did find probable cause for your arrest. Yes. Yeah. I'm, I'm, waiting. There a, I'm waiting for the co defendant. Or and victim, it's in custody here. All right. Good morning, ma'am. Can you tell me your name? Aparecida Smith. Ms. Smith, you're here in case 2021 CF 12536AO on charges of battery, domestic violence by strangulation, and tampering with a witness and hindered communication. They reviewed the charging affidavit in this case to find probable cause for your arrest. Ms. Smith, can you raise your right hand or swear in? Right hand. Yeah. Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony we're going to give in this matter is the truth? The whole truth, the number of truth, so we got. Yes, you wanna. I can put your hand down. Ma'am, do you want to have contact with Mr. DeSoto? Mr. Dos Santos, I'm sorry, Lord. Can you please repeat? Sorry, do you want to have contact with Mrs. Dos Santos? Yeah, this is my brother. All right. Have you all had a, experienced domestic violence in your relationship in the past? You asking me to explain what happened? No, I'm asking you if there's been previous instances of domestic violence between you and your brother in the past. With me and my brother? Yes. Never. Your Honor, the victim is not here. That's what it was. The victim was a third party. They were co-defendants. They were co-defendants. Right, that's what it's called. 
All right. All right. We'll do this. Mr. Dos Santos, in your case, you're going to set your bond in amount of $500. You're going to cover pre-trial release supervision. You have no contact with the victim in this case. You have no contact with your co-defendant, Ms. Smith, standing to your left. You are to maintain a separate residence from the victim. I'll give you a one-time return with law enforcement to retrieve any personal items you may have in that location. You have possess any weapons or firearms. Weapons or firearms you have need to be returned with law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. Ms. Smith, in your case, in 2021 CF12536AO, you want to set your bond account one in amount of $1,000, count two, $500. It's going to come with pre-trial release supervision. You have no contact with the victim in this case. You have no contact with your co-defendant, your brother, standing to your right in this case. You are to maintain a separate residence from this victim. If you have any personal items still at the place of that residence, I'll give you a one-time return with law enforcement to retrieve any personal items you have at that location. You may not possess any weapons or firearms, any weapons arms you have need to be turned to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. I want to appoint the public defender to represent both of you in this case. However, one of you is going to get regional conflict counsel, the other one is going to get the public defender's office. They'll notify you when that happens. Does anybody have any questions about the stipulations on the no contact order? Can I speak? I'm going to have you talk to Ms. George first before you speak to me because everything you tell me is on the record. Everybody have a great day. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Bernardino Lorenzo Mendoza. Bernardino Lorenzo Mendoza. Mm -hmm. Mr. Mendoza, you here in case 2021 MM 607 AW on charge of battery domestic violence and criminal mischief. I did review the charging affidavit in this case. Did find probable cause for your arrest. Let's set your bond and count one in amount of $1,000. Count two be set at $100. Condition of your bond that you have no contact with the victim in this case. You maintain a separate residence from this victim. Give you a one time return with law enforcement to retrieve any personal items you have at that location. You may not possess any weapons or firearms. Any weapons or firearms you have you need to be turned to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. I want to appoint the public defender to represent you in this case. Do you have any questions about the stipulations and your no contact order? No. Nope. All right. Have a great day, sir. Thank you, John. All right. I think that was my last interpreter case, correct? Yeah. All right. Thank you, Madam Mr. Interpreter. Have a great day. Thank you, Your Honor. You're welcome. Good morning, Your Honor. All right, good morning. Can you tell me your name, sir? 
My name is Dominic Alexander Crespo. All right, Mr. Crespo, you were here yesterday in case 2021 CF12487AO. And he was brought back here for for the fade only. That's what the order said, but I don't understand why. I thought it was to readdress bond to correct it from a hundred to a thousand on the. Yeah, I was going to do that part, but then there was another one. Well, the order just said readdress the fat. It's saying reset for PC per Judge Bigney, which I don't know what that means. Yeah, I was super confused. About what I was trying to figure out what happened. Anybody had any any other information? I did not, Your Honor. All right, all right. Um, Ms. Crespo, we may want to talk to Ms. George, who I think represents you in this case, Public Defender's Office, if you have a question. Maybe you. All right, as of 2021, CF12487AO, I am going to set the bond amount in count one amount of $1,000, count two, $100. Uh, conditions no contact with victims, witnesses in that case. Um, Stating, Your Honor, they did not find PC for the Grand Theft Auto yesterday. Yeah, that's not what the order said, though, so. Wasn't here yesterday. Me either. So that. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm saying order. The order said found probable cause for the charge, and then it reset it for the. What are we? The Island bond cases. It's not my judge, Big Me. Well, yeah. So I'm not sure. Let me look at it. He's stating that they said there was no PC because there was no information about the motorcycle, no um, plate, no owner, what else? No make, model, owner. No make, model, owner. Uh, that's not a, a reasonable determination. Yeah, there was a... And Your Honor, regarding that, I'm looking at the affidavit during apprehension. It does say there was a 2017 white Honda Civic later determined to belong to Hershon Harandi. Yep. Um, so they do. No, it's a motorcycle. Do note that there was a victim. It was a motorcycle. Yeah, a 2017 white Honda Civic. Yeah, that's, that's Honda a separate situation. Yeah, so it's. No, that's the. That's the vehicle that and it slammed me up. Well, it looks like that the. It had another case number for yeah the stolen motorcycle. So, in my determination, it's probable cause for your arrest as to the grand theft. Uh, you're out on bond in several cases. One being 2021 CF one one five nine seven. Of course, we're gonna revoke that bond, set that bond at none. Uh, there's 2021 CT5909 and 21 CT1100. Are those all connected to? On the 1100, he time served on that on March. All right, so that one's closed out. So it's just 21 CT5909. All right, we're going to revoke that bond. I'm actually going to set a bond in that case in about $2,000. Yep, 5909. However, you're on probation. In 2020, this is out of Orange County, right? It says Orange City, though. County. Orange County? Okay. You're yeah, on probation in Orange County, 2020, CF 1288, 2020, CF 1619, 2020, CF 1620, and 2020, CF 4994. In those cases, the court have information that new law convinced have been has been committed. He's going to find an on view violation of your probation. In those cases, going to set bonds in those cases all at none. I'm going to appoint the public defender in every case that you have, unless you ever have other representation. You have a great day, sir. Yes. Good morning, Your Honor. 
Good morning. Can you tell me your name, please? Nova Badgley. Ma'am, you're here in case 2021 CF 12529AO on charge of aggravated battery on uh, domestic violence. Did review the charging affidavit in this case, did find probable cause for your arrest. Going to set your bond in this case in the amount of $5,000. Condition your bond that you have no contact with the victim in this case. You maintain a separate residence from this victim. I'll give you a one time return with law enforcement to retrieve any personal items you have at a shared residence. You may not possess any weapons or firearms. Any weapons or firearms you have need to be returned to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. I want to appoint the public defender to represent you in this matter. Do you have any questions about the stipulations on your no contact order, ma'am? Okay. Um, so you just said a $5,000 bond. Is and do not return to the home without one police well, officer. Main, you need to maintain a separate residence. You can't be within 500 feet of his residence. That's one of the stipulations on the no contact order. You can go back to the residence one time with law enforcement to get your stuff. But after that, you had to wait to a court order from somebody that looks like me before that anything modifies. And that was correct on the bond, correct? Yes, ma'am. Thank you, sir. All right. Have a great day. All righty. Uh, All right, good morning, ma'am. Can you tell me your name? Sherelle Bailey. All right. Ms. Bailey, here in case 2021 CF12519AO, a charge of aggravated assault with a firearm. They reviewed the charging affidavit in your case. Did find, sorry, aggravated assault with a firearm, domestic violence. They reviewed the charging affidavit in your case. Did find probable cause for your arrest. And, sir, tell me your name. Austin Pascal. Mr. Pascal, you're here in case 2021 CF 12520AO, a charge of battery domestic violence by strangulation. Did you review the charging affidavit in your case? Your Honor, in this George. case, I did have a PC challenge. All right. Let's pull up Mr. Pascal. Trust Mr. Pascal? Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, Your Honor, I would argue no PC for the um, battery by strangulation. Um, based on the arrest affidavit, there was um, no indication that the breath was cut off. There's no bruising um, alleged on the victim's neck. The victim, in this case, did not even cooperate. Um, the witness stated they did not know if... Um, her breath was cut off, and in order to prove battery by strangulation, you must the state must prove that the defendant knowingly and intentionally impeded the normal breathing circulation of the blood of the victim against his or her will by applying pressure on the throat and neck of the victim or by blocking the nose or mouth, and in doing so created a great risk of bodily harm, caused by great bodily harm to the victim. Um, in here, I would argue there is none. Um, Again, the victim didn't testify. She could not breathe. The witness stated she did not know. She just noted, noticed um, choking. There's no indicate, no bruising, nothing to show that the breath was cut off in this case. All right. State. Your Honor, state's only response is um, what Ms. George is reading from is a jury instruction, which would be state having to prove beyond re all reasonable doubt today is just a PC determination. Um, we do have testimony from the independent witness that there was pressure applied to her throat or neck of the victim. Um, however, if you're otherwise uninclined to find PC for the battery by strangulation, based on that argument, they would ask for bat DV. Um, just straight bat DV. All right. As to Mr. Pascal, of course, going to find probable cause for a battery and domestic violence. Yes. 784.03. That's a special. Let me look at that. All right, Ms. Bailey, can you raise your right hand? Be sworn in. 
The psalmist swear affirm the testimony you're going to give in this matter. It's the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth to help you God. I swear. All right, you can put your hand down. Can you tell me how you know Mr. Pascal? He's the father of my kids, and we've been together for six years on and off. All right. And do you want to have contact with him while this case is pending? For the sake of my children, yes, only because of my kids. Well, they... let's not talk about your kids, because okay. we're questioning about is whether you want to have contact with him while this case is pending. Because yes. you and all can go work that out in family court about how he's going to see the kids and things like that. So we'll as to you, do you want to have contact with him? Yes. All right. And has there been previous instances of domestic violence between you all in the past? No. Did drugs and alcohol play a role in this incident? No. Okay. State, do you have any questions for the witness? No, Your Honor. And Ms. George? No, Your Honor. All right. Mr. Pascal, can you raise your right hand and be sworn in? Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you're going to give in this matter is the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth to help you got? Yes, sir. All right, you can put your hand down. All right, sir, do you want to have, do you, how do you know Miss Bailey? Uh, well, I've known her since high school. We've been in an on and off relationship, so it's kind of like that, I guess. And do you want to have contact with her while this case is pending? I don't mind. Yes. Oh, here we go. And has there been previous instances of domestic violence between you all in the past? No, sir. And did drugs and alcohol play a role in this incident? No, sir. All right, State, do you have any questions for this witness? No, Your Honor. And Ms. George? No, Your Honor. All right, Ms. Bailey, I'm going to set your bond in your case, 2021 CF12519AO, in the amount of $1,000. is going to come with pre-trial release supervision. You don't have no hostile contact with Mr. Pascal. You also may not possess any weapons or firearms. The weapons or firearms will turn over to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. I want to explain to both of you what no hostile contact means in a moment. As to Mr. Pascal, court found a probable cause for battery, domestic violence, of course, in 2021, CF 12520 AO. Once your bond in the amount of $1,000 in that case as well, it's going to come with pre-trial release supervision. That you have no hostile contact with Miss Bailey. You also may not possess any weapons or firearms. Weapons or firearms you have need to be turned over to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. Now, no hostile contact means this you two are allowed to have disagreements. That is something that's going to happen between parents about how they're going to raise their children or anybody that's been in a relationship of any intimate fashion. However, those disagreements, those arguments cannot turn violent. They cannot become threatening. There can be no abusive language used between the both of you in this case. Because it doesn't matter whether you call law enforcement, whether Ms. Bailey calls law enforcement, or Mr. Pascal calls law enforcement, or somebody that just sees or hears you all arguing in the manner that was going on in this case is going to call law enforcement. You both will be arrested. You both will be in violation of my orders at that point. You both won't have to worry about where and where your kids are going to be because it may be in the Department, Department, Department of Children and Families at that point because both of you will be in, my, in the Orange County Jail on no bond status for violating my orders. Do you both understand that? Yes. Yes. All right. I'm going to appoint the public defender to represent both of you in this case. However, one of you is going to get regional conflict counsel. The other one is going to get the public defender's office to represent them. All right. Everybody have a great day. Thank you, Your Honor. <clears throat> Next we have Donnell Chess. Yes. He's medical, right. but the victim is here. All right. All right, this is Mr. Chest in case 2021-CF12533AL. He's arrested on charges of battery, domestic violence, by strangulation, battery, domestic violence, and two counts. I'm going to appoint the public defender to represent him in this case. I'll leave you here, All right. All right, we've got one at a time. Man, I'm going to start left to right. My left. <laughs> My left over here to the right. There we go. 
Ma'am, can you raise your right hand and be sworn in? Well, both of you. This is it. This is it. You both solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you're going to give in this matter is the truth, the whole truth, number the truth to help you God. Yes. Yes. All right. Put your hands down. All right. To my left, can you tell me your name and spell your, like, your last name? No, my left, which is over here. In the green area. Destiny Carter. All right. Can you spell your last name? C-A-R-T-E-R. -E All right. Ms. Carter, can you tell me how you know Mr. Chess? He's my brother. And do you want to have contact with him while this case is pending? Yes. Has there been previous instances of domestic violence between you all in the past? No. Did drugs and alcohol play a role in this incident? No, sir. And State, do you have any questions for Ms. Carter? No, Your Honor. And Ms. George? No, Your Honor. All right. To my right, can you tell me your name, ma'am? Adrian Kelsey. Ms. Kelsey, can you tell me how you know Mr. Chess? He's my son. One second here. And do you want to have contact with your son while this case is pending? Yes, I do. Has there been previous instances of domestic violence between you and your son? No. Did drugs and alcohol play a role in this incident? Um, he only can hear. He has a um, a disability, so he's off his medicine. So I wouldn't know what to say to that. As a mental health disability or yes. or intellectual disability. He has a mental health disability. All right. Does he see a doctor on a regular basis? Yes, he goes to outpatient care at Lakeside. All right. And when is his next appointment? Um, it should be coming up, but it's up to D to go because now he's 19. All right. He stays with me. I take him wherever he has to go, but it's really up to him to go to his apartments. Yeah, well, he, well he's an adult, so that's, it's kind of hard. It's not when he, like when he was a kid. You know, you can make him go. <laughs> All right, so my options are this. We have a program um, called Mental Health Pre-Trial Release. However, um, for him to be screened for that program, he's going to have to stay here at the Orange County Jail for a couple of days while the doctors take a look at him and make sure that he's appropriate for that program. Is that something that's amenable to you? What is what? I mean, what kind of what does it do? Like, um, well, there's going to be we're going to have some kind of community supervision, not just you watching out for him, make sure he's taking his medication, make sure that he goes to all his appointments, make sure he's being provided with the treatment. Um, that he needs. I'm just telling you that he's not going to get out today if that happens. I'm going to, he's going to stay here for like another day or so while we while the, while they evaluate him and make sure he's on his medication. Well, I was trying. I was hoping he would get out today because he has to return. He's currently got a um, what is it called? A thing tomorrow where he's enrolling to go back to school to get his high school diploma. So. Okay. He has an interview tomorrow, two of them, one for when tomorrow and one for Wednesday. Who's going to get his GED or he's going to... He's school? going back to high school. Going back to high school. So he's going yes. to like, a, like night yes. school? Yes. All right. Your Honor, just for the record, Go ahead. he does have a 2020 CJ case that was declined to prosecute due to the victim being unwilling. The victim was Miss Carter. Mm -hmm. He has a 2019 juvenile Two counts of bat DV, victim being Mr. Carter and Ms. Kelsey. Um, also, um, witness issues. He also has another 2019 juvenile ag assault with a deadly weapon and violation of probation. The underlying victim in that case was his brother, Mr. Gordon. He has yeah. a 2018 juvenile. One, two, two counts of that DV. Victim in that case being his brother, Mr. Gordon, and Miss Kelsey. And then he has a 2017 juvenile non arrest, criminal mischief, and that DV. Victim in that case also being, I believe, his aunt, Miss Kelsey. All right. So, what's what I want to do in this case, in count one, I'm going to release Mr. Chess on mental health pre-trial release in this case, conditions of his pre-trial release. Does he have no hostile contact 
with the victims in this case maintain he is not possessing weapons of firearms. The weapons of firearms he has needs to be turned over to law enforcement within 24 hours of his release. If he doesn't qualify for mental health pretrial release, we're going to set his bond in count one, amount of $1,000. Count two, uh, $100. And count three, $500. Condition of that bond in that case that he have no hostile contact with the victims in this case. Maintain that he is sorry that he not possessing weapons of firearms. The weapons of firearms he has needs to be turned to law enforcement within 24 hours of his release. He needs to keep all his mental health appointments and take any medication that is prescribed to him by those mental health doctors and the dosage that is prescribed to him. He's also not allowed to possess any drugs or alcohol without a valid prescription. I want to appoint the public defender to represent Mr. Chess and or, I'm sorry, I appointed the public defender to represent Mr. Chess. All right. Everyone have a great day. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Uh, my name is Fernando Alexis. Sir, you're here in case 2021 CF 12530 AL on charge of aggravated assault with a firearm, domestic violence. They review the charging affidavit in your case. They find probable cause for your arrest. I'm going to set your bond in this case the amount of $3,500. Condition of your bond is you have no contact with the victim in this case. You maintain a separate residence from this victim. I'll give you a one time return with law enforcement if you have a shared residence. To retrieve any personal items you have at that location, you may not possess any weapons or firearms. Any weapons or firearms you have need to be turned over to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. And I'm going to appoint the public defender to represent you in this matter. Do you have any questions about the stipulations on your no contact order, sir? Do you have any questions about your no contact order? Yeah, yeah, yeah I understand. Yeah, sometimes. Do you have any questions about your no contact order, yes or no? Yes, yes. All right, what questions do you have about the stipulations on the order? That's no contact, right? Yes. Is there something on the order that you don't understand? No contact. I can't hear you. He said he understands. No okay. Contact. Your Honor, um, generally, we, I believe he was on duty as a security guard at the apartment complex when this event occurred. I know yeah. we usually make a exception for if their job entails firearms. However, state would object due to him being on duty while this occurred. Yeah, so if he has employment, then they can they make an appropriate motion. Um, because obviously if he's a law enforcement, I'm not sure if he's an armed security guard or, you know, just a, you know, kind of unarmed but they can make an appropriate motion in the court about when he's like when because then I have questions about when he's going to have access to the firearm. You know, it, it's not just they're allowed to have the gun, yes, but during the water right, on the duty. But it was like the gun can't stay at home with them. So it's things things I need to have questions for if that's the the case. Um, Your Honor, he has a question. Can I? Yeah, go ahead. Thank you. All right, have a great day. Thank you. All right. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Christian Sicardo. This is a car you here in case 2021 CF 12525 AO on charge of aggravated battery on a pregnant person, domestic violence. 
They review the charging affidavit in your case, did find probable cause for your arrest. You must set your bond in this case in amount of $2,500. Condition of your bond, you have no contact with the victim in this case. As you maintain a separate residence from this victim, I'll give you a one-time return with law enforcement to retrieve any personal items you have at that location. And you may not possess any weapons or firearms without a sorry, you may not possess any weapons or firearms. Any weapons or firearms you have need to be turned over to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. Give me one second here. You also may not possess any drugs or alcohol without a valid prescription. You will be subject to random drug and alcohol testing at your expense. You are out on bond in case 2021 CT 3600 AO for driving under the influence. The court is going to revoke that bond, find a probable cause that you committed a new law offense, set new bond at zero dollars. I'm going to appoint the public defender to represent you in both cases. You have a great day, sir. Well, first of all, do you have any questions about the stipulations on the order? Your no contact order. No, I'm good. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Next question, right? It's all right. You're here in case 2021. That's why. Volume is so CF 12537AO on charge of kidnapping, dating violence, false imprisonment, dating violence, and battery dating violence. Did review the charging affidavit in this case. Did find probable cause for your arrest. Say, what are you doing? Ask me not to do as to count one of this affidavit. Your Honor, as to count one, given that it is a life offense, state is asking that you hold him no bond pending an Arthur hearing. All right, I'm going to appoint a public defender to represent Mr. Wright. Ms. George, do you have any re response to the state's request? Um, Your Honor, I uh, would ask that you hear Ms. Rush in this case I'm more concerned about the story he gave. All right, since we're going, to, we're going to have Arthur hearing in the future, sir, we're going to say your bond in count one, amount of no bond. And count two, we're going to set your bond amount of $10,000. And count three, you're going to set your bond amount of $500. Condition in the bond, no contact with this victim or this victim's family. You may not, you must maintain a separate residence from this victim. You may not possess any weapons or firearms. The weapons or firearms you have need to be turned over to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. As you may not have any contact with any witnesses as well. I as well say that. I'm going to point, already appointed the public defender to represent you in this case. You have a great day, sir. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Zachary Alberry, Your Honor. It's Alberry here in case 2021 MM 428AA on charge of battery domestic violence. Did review the charging affidavit in your case. Did find probable cause for your arrest. You're going to set your bond in this case amount two hundred and fifty dollars. Is going to come with pre-trial release supervision. You to have no contact with the victim in this case. You are to maintain a separate residence from this victim. Give you a one-time return with law enforcement to retrieve any personal items you may have at a shared residence. You may not possess any weapons or firearms. Weapons or firearms you have need to be turned over to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. You also may not possess any drugs or alcohol without a valid prescription. You are subject to random drug testing in this case. You have a great day, sir. I'm oh, sorry, I'm appointing the public defender to represent you. You have a great day. Good morning, ma'am. Can you tell me your name? Shakita Davis. Ms. Davis, you're here in case 2021 MM6589AO 
on charge of battery domestic violence. Did review the charging affidavit in your case. Did find probable cause for your arrest. Going to set your bond in this case amount of $250. It's going to come with pre-trial release supervision. If you have no contact with the victim in this case, you need to maintain a separate residence from this victim. I'll give you a one-time return with law enforcement to retrieve any personal items you have at that location. You may not possess any weapons or firearms. The weapons or firearms you have need to be turned to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. I want to appoint the public defender to represent you in this case. You have a great day, ma'am. Okay. Um, before you said I can't return to my residence. I said maintain a separate residence. Oh, okay. All right, have a great day, ma'am. Go on, sir. Can you tell me your name? My name is Mickens. My name Donnell Mickens. Right. Sir, you're here in case 2021 MM 6593AO on charge of battery domestic violence. They review the charging affidavit in your case. Did find probable cause for your arrest. Good morning, ma'am. Can you tell me your name and spell your last name? Shante Brown, B R O W N. All right, ma'am. Can you raise your right hand and be sworn in? Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you're going to give in this matter is the truth, the whole truth, and number of the truth to help you God? Yes, sir. All right. Can you tell me how you know Mr. Mickens? That's my baby father. And do you want to have contact with him while this case is pending? Yes, between about the child. About the child or with you? Well, with both of us, me and my baby. All right. Has there been previous instances of domestic violence between you all in the past? Yes. When was the most recent one prior to this incident? Oh, none, but when I was pregnant with my son. How old is the son? He's two now. All right. And... Did drugs and alcohol play a role in this incident? No. Say, do you have any questions for the witness? No, Your Honor. And Ms. George? No. Your Honor, regarding her testimony, there is a 2019 non-arrest felony um, AGVAT DV, mm -hmm. um, the victim being Ms. Brown. However, it was declined to prosecute. All right. All right, Mr. Mickens, in this case, we're going to set your bond in the amount of $1,500, condition of your bond that you have. Sorry, does anybody want to advocate for anything other than no contact? No, Your Honor. Your Honor, state would object given uh, the prior history between the defendant and the victim. The pulling off period may be good for both. Um, right. It seems like the victim would still allow him to have contact with the child. Well, you know, there's going to be no contact right now. That's what my thoughts were based on his criminal history, based on the history he has with the victim. Um, so, Mr. Mickens, and we'll set bond as $1,500, no contact with the victim in this case. Uh, you can get to in front of your division judge, Judge Shoemaker. Maybe he has a methodology, maybe the parenting app or something like that, where you can have contact about your children. I don't know. You must maintain a separate residence from the victim. Give you one time return with law enforcement to retrieve any personal items you have at that location. You may not possess any weapons or firearms. The weapons or firearms you have need to be turned to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. You may not possess any drugs or alcohol without a valid prescription. Give me one second. We subject to random drug testing in this case. I want to appoint the public defender to represent you in this matter. You have a great day, sir. What? Yes, ma'am. Yes, me. So um, he can't um, like talk to his son or nothing. He can, but I mean, if his son's two years old, I don't think he has a cell phone, so. No, he don't have a, my son don't. Yeah, I, I'm, just, I'm just saying, I mean, the point, I mean, it, it's a one-way street situation, so if he calls the house and he has contact with you, that's a violation of my order in order to talk to his son. 
if he wants to see this, his son while he's at grandma's house or something like that, he has a schedule. There's a schedule time. He's, you're, he's always there, and you're not there, mm-hmm. and that's probably that's a possibility. But he runs the risk of violating my orders if he gets caught having contact with you. You understand? Yes. So I would, you know, it would be in his best interest that you would not entice him to, like, to violate that order because it's not going to go well for him because that's a contract between him and, like, him and I. Yeah. You know, so we have to agree and he has to understand what's going on and he has to violate, he'll follow those orders. Now, like I said, he can get in front of Judge Wayne Shoemaker. You guys can work out a time where he can have contact with the victim, with come back contact with his son, do on a schedule or something like that. Okay. It's something I'm not really able to do because I have. It takes a lot of time. It takes like a 30 minute hearing, and I don't have that time this morning to dedicate to each case, like to deal with that situation. So Judge Wayne Shoemaker can get that done. Talk to his attorney at the public defender's office, and they can get in front of that judge to work out a plan to make sure, make sure that's happening. Okay. All right. Thank you. Have a great day. Good morning, ma'am. Can you tell me your name? Good morning, Your Honors. Regina Seri. Ma'am, we're here in case 2021 MM6587 AO on charge of battery domestic violence. Did review the charging affidavit in your case. Did it find probable cause for your arrest. I'm going to set your bond in this case amount of $1,500. Conditioning your bond, you have no contact with the victim in this case. You maintain a separate residence from this victim. I'll give you a one-time return with law enforcement to retrieve any personal items you have at that location. You may not possess any weapons or firearms. Weapons or firearms you have need to be shown to law enforcement within 24 hours of his release, of, of your release. I wanted to appoint the public defender to represent you in this case. Do you have any questions about the stipulations on your no-contact order? No, sorry. Let me ask you a question. The 1,500 is a 10% of that, correct? Um, that's wherever the bondsman's fees are. I don't know. What, I don't know what they charge. And I had another question. It might sound dumb. What? All right. So you asking questions, and we'll have you talk to your attorney because more questions, the more things, times you talk to me, the more things you might say to put okay, on the record. Right, I'm sorry. To get you, get you in more trouble. Johnson, behavior. RSK 2021 MM 6580 AO. I'm going to point the public defender to represent Mr. Thompson. All right, going to set bond in his case. I did find probable cause for the charge of battery domestic violence. Setting bond $500, pretrial release supervision. Condition of his bond, he had no contact with the victim in this case. Maintain a separate residence from this victim. One time return with law enforcement to retrieve any personal items he has at location. May not possess any weapons or firearms. The weapons or firearms he has need to be returned to law enforcement within 24 hours of his release. May not possess any drugs or alcohol without a valid prescription, subject to random drug and alcohol testing in this case. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Mr. Vasquez, as you hear in case 2021 MM 6594AO on charge of battery domestic violence, they reviewed the charging affidavit in your case, did find probable cause for your arrest. You're going to set your bond in this case amount of $1,000, conditioning your bond that you have no contact with the victim in this case. You maintain a separate residence from this victim give you a one-time return with law enforcement to retrieve any personal items you have at that location. You may not possess any weapons or firearms. Any weapons or firearms you have need to be turned over to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. And I want to appoint the public defender to represent you in this matter. Do you have any questions about the stipulations on your no-contact order? No All right. Have a great day, sir. Good morning, ma'am. Can you tell me your name? My name is Jean Webner, Your Honor. Ms. Webber, you're here in case 2021 MM 6599AO on charge of battery domestic violence. Did you review the charging affidavit in your case? Did find probable cause for your arrest? Good morning, ma'am. Hello. 
Hi. Okay, I need you to keep your eyes up here with me. Yeah. All right. I'm sorry. No problem. I want to make sure we're having a we're understanding what I'm saying. Okay. Can you tell me your name and spell your last name? And my name is Jennifer Rice. R I C E. All right. Can you raise your right hand? Be sworn in. These psalmists were affirmed. The testimony going to give in this matter is the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Help you, God. I do. All right, you put your hand down, ma'am. Can you tell me how you know Miss Weber? Miss Webner. I'm sorry. She's my mother. And do you want to have contact with your mother while this case is pending? Absolutely. Has there been previous instances of domestic violence between you all in the past? Never. Has, did drugs and alcohol play a role in this incident? Absolutely not. She qualified you. Yeah, I was wondering. Okay. Mom, and, I love well, you. Hold on, what's that? Oh, all right, ma'am. Oh, sorry. All right. So you, by you doing that, is going to help her violate my orders. Okay. Right now, the orders are her to have no contact with you. Okay. Understand, this is an emotional time. Plus, we're wearing these masks, so it's hard for me to tell what's going on with people's faces and facial expressions. Okay. So, like, it's just easier if I keep everybody's eyes on me, and okay. we make sure we're not everybody is on the same page about what we're supposed to be doing here in court. Okay. All right. State, do you have any questions for the witness? No, Your Honor. And Ms. George? No, Your Honor. All right. Ms. Weber, I'm going to set your bond in this case amount of $100. It's going to cover pre-trial release supervision. You have no hostile contact with your daughter. No hostile contact means this. You ought to have disagreements with your daughter. It happens. Parents shouldn't or they don't always agree with their children, which they shouldn't because they're the parent. Now, those disagreements cannot turn violent. They cannot become threatening. There could be no abusive language used because if you do that and your daughter calls law enforcement or somebody that sees or hears you all arguing calls law enforcement, you're going to be arrested. You're going to be in violation of my orders at that point. You're going to be here on a no bond status. You understand that? Yes. You may not possess any weapons or firearms. The weapons or firearms you have need to be thrown to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. I want to appoint the public. I want to appoint the public defender to represent you in this case. You have a great day, ma'am. Thank you. All right, everybody have a great day. All right. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Excuse me. Can you tell me your name? Richard Williams. Mr. Williams, you're here in case 2021 MM 6591 AO on charge of battery dating violence. They reviewed a charging affidavit in this case, did find probable cause for your arrest. Good morning, ma'am. Can you tell me your name and spell your last name? Good morning. It's Sydney Williams, W I L L I A M S. All right. Can you raise your right hand this morning? The assaultments were affirmed. The testimony going to give in this matter is the truth. The whole truth, number of the truth, so help you God. Do. I can put your hand down. Can you tell me how you know Mr. Williams? He's my boyfriend and my best friend for like two years. All right. And do you want to have contact with Mr. Williams while this case is pending? I would, but that's up to him. All right. And has there been previous instances of domestic violence between you all in the past? No. Did drugs and alcohol play a role in this incident? Possibly alcohol, I don't know. All right. All right. Say, you have any questions for the witness? No, Your Honor. And Ms. George? No, Your Honor. All right, Mr. Williams, I'm going to, anybody want to advocate for anything other than no contact? No, Maybe there should be more questions asked because she said it's up to him, which is a kind of a, not a yes or a no. And your honor state would advocate for no contact as of august 14th he has that agbat with a deadly weapon case it is a different victim but given the out on bond for a violent case and picking up a new crime of violence the state would advocate for a no contact at this time all right so i was gonna give, I was trying to give miss george an opportunity to if she wanted to ask some questions she could because it wasn't really clear as to what her desires were I would, but that's on his terms. I don't know if he wants to speak to me, but I'm willing to speak to him. Yes. Your Honor, 
Something else was a 2012 misdemeanor non-arrest, bat DV. It was a different victim, Miss McGlynn. And he also had a 2013 ag, ag assault with a deadly weapon uh, that ultimately ended up in violations of probation. Also a different victim, Miss McGlynn. Just given his prior history, the fact that he's out on bond for a violent offense and that he has a new law, violent offense. State would still be asking for no contact at this time. Well, I got a question for Ms. Williams. Um, knowing that you, all the history, do you still want to have contact with Mr. Williams? I've known this history for a very long time, Your Honor. Um, What's a very long time? Because you told me that you guys only know each other for two well, years. Well, two years is quite a bit. I haven't really lived in this area of Florida for very much. Okay. Um, he's really been there, and he's helped me through a lot. And I don't think I'd be where I was today without him. Okay. Your, Your Honor, um, I would just argue that um, my client stated they were um, in the process of moving. Um, they were. Tomorrow, Your Honor. So I would just ask for a non-hostile contact order. My client does, in fact, want contact with the victim. Um, so I'd ask that you consider that in the witness's testimony here today um, and allow a non-hostile contact order. All right. Mr. Williams, in this case, 2021 MM6591 AO, the court's going to set your bond amount of $1,500. I'm going to give you no hostile contact with the victim in this case. No hostile contact. You cannot have, like, you guys have disagreements. Things come up between a relationship between two people. They cause conflict. However, those disagreements cannot be violent. They cannot be threatening. There could be no abusive language used during those disagreements. Because if that happens, no matter whether she calls law enforcement or somebody that sees or hears you while arguing and calls law enforcement, you will be in violation of my orders. You will be arrested. You will spend a lot of time hearing me on no bond status as it relates to this case. You also may not possess any weapons or firearms. Weapons or firearms you have need to be determined to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. However, you are out on bond in case 2021 CF 9793AO. The court did find probable cause that you committed a new law offense while you're out on bond in that case. Going to revoke that bond. Set a new bond and no bond. Condition you have no contact with the victim in that case. Going to appoint the public defender to represent you in any case you're not already represented. You have a great day, sir. I do have a bond, yes. As to the, the, the new case, but not to the old case. No so I'll no sit here possible. still? Yep. You got to go talk to your division judge about whether they find any release conditions that are appropriate to leave, like, let you out on that case. Okay, so that could be weeks, months? Well, it's just you talk, call, call your attorneys and, and get on talking to them so you can get you in front of that judge as quickly as possible. Uh, excuse me, Your Honor. Yes, ma'am. Was that no contact at all or no hostile contact? There was no hostile contact with you, no contact with the victim of the aggravated assault case. Oh, okay. So the previous case? Yep. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Have a good day. You too. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Abdul Shabazz. Mr. Shabazz, you're here in Seminole County case 2018 CF. 4146 for violation of probation warrant signed for your arrest. Your bond is no bond as to that warrant. I'm going to appoint the public defender to represent you to get you over to Seminole County. You have a great day, sir. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Octavia Selma. Ms. Sullen, you're here in case 2020 CF 9647AO for violation of community control. Just sign your warrant. In this case, set your bond at no bond. Your bonds remain at no bond. You have a great day, sir. Thank you. 